Hey everyone from the couch, La Lenny. <laughs> I was trying to think like, mm. uh, mum's here, but we won't put her on camera. Like, what's a fun way to describe the Netflix hospital couch that I, like, it's got a dent in it from where I sit all the time. So I, um, I made a how to survive outings video and I, something I have trouble with is how do I get to bed and what do I need to do to get to bed? So come with me on an adventure <laughs> as I figure out to get from here to the bed, what do we need to do? Okay, so thinking through your checklist. Um, my One of my top tips for this is like picking your outfit for the next day, the night before, because when I wake up in the morning... I can't pick what clothes to wear, so finding some clothes and hanging them out so that they're ready to go in the morning, that's one of my top tips. Um, so I've got like my blankets and stuff, so I need to get out of the snuggly warmth and transition to the snuggly warmth of my bed. That's what I should have done, put on my electric blanket like an hour ago. Oh well, I forgot that I had a cup of tea here earlier. Mother was very kind and made me a cup of tea and I was sitting there for like 10 minutes and I apparently I even said thank you when she brought it but I just completely didn't even see it was there. I'm like, oh, tea! And by that time it had gotten cold. So anyway, so getting ready for bed. When you have super brain fog, you feel horrible. Okay, brushing teeth. You should do that every day, but sometimes when it's really... <clears throat> so brushing teeth, uh, pit stop to the bathroom, pyjamas, if you're not already living in your pyjamas. <laughs> I've got these like day clothes pyjamas. Um, setting out clothes for tomorrow. Um, putting my electronic devices, such as the phone that I'm using now, charging, glass of water, medication, and setting an alarm for the next morning, but I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, so no alarm for me. Yeah, what's on your like to-do list before you go to bed? Because no doubt after I get up and go to do all these things, then I'll... Oh, I totally forgot that other one. Yeah. It was really helpful when I did my How to Survive Outings video. And then um, some of you wonderful people commented and suggested the things that you do. And someone said about having like headphones or earplugs. And guess what? My friend that I saw the other day had a whole lot of earplugs. So now I've got earplugs that I can use. In fact... That will be really good for the neighbours who are doing construction work. I wake up in the morning early when they're doing construction work. And then, uh, I think that's why I got a migraine today. It's just so noisy. But I could um use those earplugs. <laughs> I'm a bit loopy. But you know what I am, what I mean when I'm talking about? You know, <laughs> hashtag so FND. When we've already got other things that are stressful and difficult, then add another one. <laughs> putting the dis into dysfunctional, wait, no, it's fun. Putting the fun into functional neurological disorder. <laughs> okay, uh, comment below and let me know what's your getting ready for bed <laughs> tips. <laughs> and then I can like make a checklist for myself that every night, yes, do that. Every night I can just go through the list and like, hey, this is what all the F&D friends said is what you need to do before you go to bed. And then I'm like, yes, brush my teeth, yes, pajamas, and took my medication. That would be really good. I need that. Help me. Okay, I'm getting a bit delirious, but I feel a bit brighter now that I've had some fun making this video. Good night, everybody, or good morning, wherever you're watching this. <laughs>